The suspended well abandonment tool, SWAT, raised the bar for abandonment tools on its introduction in 1996. Since then, the tool has been used to abandon over a hundred Category 2 wells and has received a Queen's Award for Innovation and a Petroleum Institute Platinum Award. The tool comprises double barrier pressure isolating inflatable packers, two sets of perforating guns, a cement circulating system, hydraulic actuators for diverless operation, a set of fail-safe valves, a deployment system, a control umbilical, and an on-vessel control cabin. The SWAT is highly configurable and adaptable to many different types of abandoned subsea wells. In this example, we show its operation on a Category 2-2 suspended well. The vessel sails to the site above the wellhead. Once there, its position is checked and maintained using its dynamic positioning system. After locating the well and performing the as-found survey, the trash cap, if one is fitted, is recovered to allow access to the well. The well bore is inspected and drifted to confirm the position of the existing internal cement plug. A guide cone is landed on top of the well to assist the entry of the perforating guns and the SWAT body. The bottom guns are lowered through the moon pool and are suspended on a cruciform before being attached to the SWAT bottom hole assembly. After surface purging and testing, the SWAT is lowered to land on the 9 and 5 eighths inch casing hanger. The lower and then the upper packers are inflated to seal against the casing wall. A pressure test performed between the packers confirms the integrity of the seals. A second pressure test below the lower packer checks the integrity of the well and the equipment. The SWAT is now ready to perforate the 9 and 5 eighths inch casing. The upper perforating gun array consists of two 2 and 7 eighths inch guns which are zero degree phased because they are positioned side by side and housed within the SWAT tool. The lower perforating gun array is a 3 and 3 eighths inch and a 5 and a quarter inch gun. They are 360 degree phased and suspended one above the other. The lower 3 and 3 eighths inch gun is fired hydraulically to breach the casing. At this stage, a check determines whether there is any pressure behind the casing. Note that during SWAT operations, reservoir hydrocarbons are never recovered to the vessel. The upper 2 and 7 eighths inch gun is then fired through a slot in the SWAT housing. This also breaches the casing and it establishes a circulation path through the inner annulus. A cleanup pill is pumped down the circulation line, through the annulus and back up the return line to displace the drilling mud to the surface. This mud is either recovered to a holding tank or discharged overboard if it is water based. Next, a viscous thixotropic spacer is pumped down the return line followed by cement. This positions the cement adjacent to the lower perforations and throughout the annulus. Back pressure is held on the circulation line through a surface choke valve to minimize the U-tube effect. This choke is closed immediately pumping stops. The excess cement in the system lines and the wellhead area is cleaned out by deflating the upper packer and flushing down the return line. The surplus cement is deposited harmlessly on the seabed. After a period of waiting on cement, the upper packer is reinflated and the cement is pressure tested for integrity. Now the inner annulus is isolated, it is time to start work on the outer annulus. The sequence of events is essentially the same as before. The lower five and a quarter inch gun is fired hydraulically to perforate the outer 13 and 3 eighths inch annulus. Any pressure in the system is monitored. The upper 2 and 7 eighths inch gun is then fired to form a circulation path between the two sets of perforations. A cleanup pill pumped down the circulation line displaces the drilling mud back to a surface holding tank, or in the case of water based mud, discharges it overboard. Flushing continues until a clean return is obtained. Immediately after mud displacement and before pumping cement, the drop sub is actuated. This releases the lower perforating guns 
and allows them to fall into the well. A balanced cement plug is pumped into the 9 and 5 8 inch casing and the outer annulus to complete the operation. The packers are deflated and seawater is pumped through the system to remove cement deposits and ensure that there is sufficient rat hole to position the severance equipment. The swat is then reinserted into the well and the packers are inflated for a final pressure test. Following a successful test, the swat is recovered and a drift run is made to confirm the top of the cement plug. The guide cone is recovered before severance operations start. The final stage of abandonment is to sever and recover the wellhead itself. Actian companies can offer a range of severance services to meet clients' needs, including the proprietary abrasive jet cutting system Sabre and more traditional mechanical cutters and saws. The Claxton wellhead recovery tool can be used to capture the wellhead and retrieve it to the surface. Once these final steps are complete, the well will have been abandoned in full compliance with the latest oil and gas UK guidelines.